Again, we're using some of this Velveeta queso blanco. Today, we're going to be making some American queso and cheese quesadilla tortillas. All right. So first, we got to get this cast iron pan. One thing I love about Velveeta is that Velveeta is a beautiful example of American cheese, just like Philadelphia cheese. All right. Uh, some people might think that this cheese is full of nothing. Uh, it's something in this cheese. It's basically cheese. Any other cheese you see around the world, whether it's Gruyere, whatever, you know, Cheddar Jack, all that, those are just different types of cheeses. These are American cheeses right here. And this is an American dish, the quesadilla. We're also going to use this Sargento cheese, believe it or not. This is made in America. All right. So we got this American cheese melt that's going down. All right. So now we got our three cheeses that we're using. Now let's put some vegetables in here because what we're going to do is we're going to melt this down into something delicious, all right? This right here, next item, bam, just like that, all right? No problem. Another American product. Love it. I love making American food, okay? I'm going to just pour that in there, all right? Uh, don't worry about oil. I if anybody's thinking, what if it sticks to the pan? We're going to cook this in the oven. Uh, the Velveeta cheese actually has oil in it. That's what makes American cheese special. Uh, I think we got all of our cheeses. Now let's go for our seasonings. All right, we're going to go a little bit south of the border. We're going to use something called Goya. If you're familiar with this, make sure you use it in your delicious dishes. All right, it's just good on everything. I'm going to sprinkle that all over this. All right. Next, a little tahin. All right, this is beautiful. This is going to give you so a little bit of a citric taste. I'm going to get that more into these pico de gallo. I want that to taste good. All right, you saw me shakes I shaked on there. I'm being liberal with it, okay? I'm not conservative. Next, we're going to add a little bit of oregano, all right? I want to put about a tablespoon of oregano. If you don't know what a tablespoon is, it's about half the cap full of it. I mean, a little more or less. You can't go wrong. We're cooking. We're not baking, so don't, don't sweat it. You just don't put a crazy amount of there. Just like this salt, we're going to use onion powder. Onion powder has a little saltiness to it, so we're going to sprinkle some of that on top because you want to taste it. It has a nice flavor. We love onions powder. We love garlic salt. We're gonna use a little bit of this garlic salt on there. Add a little bit more salt. There's not really much salt in the vegetables. And, and I'm also gonna add chicken, which is also unsalted. So we need enough salt to give flavor to this dish. And last but not least, we're gonna add some spice. You can omit this if you can't deal with that, but I can. So I'm not gonna put, I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle. This is a decent amount of spice right there. Any more than that, you're getting into that El Fuego. We're not trying to have that. No sorry, no sorry, Bob. Last but not least, the chicken, all right? Let's get some store-bought pre-cooked chicken. It makes life easy, you know, because we got, you know, we got to get to watching those reruns of Wheel of Fortune, you know, and the new uh, series Picard is out, so we got to watch that too. It goes hard, and I don't got time to be cooking hard in the kitchen all night. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we need this to melt. So I'm just going to kind of incorporate it just slightly, all right? That's not going to do much, but we're just going to break that up just a little bit, okay? And then uh, put it in the oven let that melt and then we're going to come back and check on it in about 20 minutes at about 355 degrees okay cool all right this has been the oven for about 25 minutes just enough to melt that cheese let's go ahead and incorporate these ingredients a little bit more all right yeah that breaks down a lot easier now mix 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 it's good cooking so far the whole goal is to have this done in less than an hour okay this is a one hour dish oh yeah let's just mix it all together so but here's the basic thing we're going to do. We're going to finish this in the oven after it's mixed up for another 10 minutes, okay? Just to get that fully cooked, 350. And then we're gonna make some quesadillas. And if you guys don't know how to make a quesadilla, well, I'm about to show you here in just a second. Sorry, y'all. I'm just up here geeking over this cheese. I am, man, I'm a cheese hog head. Matter of fact, I don't think I'm going to put this in the oven. Get that. That's good. Yeah. Let's, let's go. It's melted enough because we're going to cook this up real tough. I'm going to show y'all a little kitchen appliance that I like to use. It's very helpful. We don't got time to lose. A little plug in electric griddle. Get this bad boy turned on. Over here, I'm going to slide this. In a few, just a second. Okay, yeah, that cheese is looking nice and incorporated. You just want to keep doing this till you get any more chunks, you know? Chunky cheese, you know, you want a big chunk of Velveeta or, or something like that, you know? I'm going to just get all this mixed up. 
Mm. And that chicken is so soft, it just got shredded up pork chicken. It just got shredded up in there. You can use the smash method. You know, this is where you can have fun with that cheese. I like having fun with cheese. Anybody can relate, they understand. I don't care what you think. I don't care if your stomach is bubbling. It's still in trouble when you make this cheese, baby. Good old fashioned American cheese dip. You can do lots of things with this, man. You know, if I'm gonna make case dish, you can get some you know, some chips and just make this as a party dip and just dip some chips into it. And you can put it in between some celery sticks and try and go a little bit, you know, more uh, carb friendly. Uh, you can, you know, slather this right on top of a tortilla. All right, we're gonna take this tortilla and put just a little bit of this cheese chicken mix on it, just like that. Not too much. We just want to like get a thin layer on each side, fold it in half. All right. Then we're going to put it on an electric griddle. All right. Electric griddle. It's real simple, real easy to do. Get a little bit of vegetable oil. All right. Put it right on the grill. I'm going to add a little bit of just, just a capful. Okay. Just a capful. You don't need, you don't need to get too crazy with it. And I'm gonna slide that right on top, spin it around, flip it upside down, spin it around, put it on the end. All right, same thing with the next one. We're making this for a family, this is dinner. All right, we gotta get dinner served. I don't got time to wait. I'm gonna wait another 10 minutes in the oven. Now, if you're like serving this and you're trying to show it, like show it off or something, with look, look great, put it in the oven and you can, uh, you know, broil it for a little bit. But we're making case of this, baby. By the way, I have plus 10 fire resistance on my hands along with some armor from magical resistance from these black gloves. Um, so I can touch things a little easier. That's why I like wearing gloves. Just let you move faster. You got to worry about burning yourself. Splash. A little grease splash on me. No big deal. See, all I used was about a, like a tablespoon of oil. And I could, you know, continue to cook with that. Look at that. Quesadillas, man. American quesadillas. Doesn't get realer than this, you know. Hey, you know what? I was a geometry major. Let's 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 get some space going here. Let's let's do this. Let's get some more of them, man. Let me go find some more tortillas. We're gonna cook these up until they're golden brown on each side, right? I got this thing turned up to four hundred degrees. Woo wee. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'll say about two three minutes each side. Flip it over. Yeah, it's still soft. Yeah, about two, three minutes on each side. We're going to flip it over. And when it's golden brown, we're going to flip it on the other side. And we're going to chop those up in little pieces and see how that tastes. Oh, my. Oh, one more thing. A little cilantro. For those of you who like cilantro, I love cilantro. So this one's going to be mine. I need a little piece of chicken in mine. Yeah, I need some chicken. I need a big piece of chicken. Daddy likes a big piece of chicken, y'all. All right, we're going to put that one right there. So that was mine on the end. If you don't like cilantro, I recommend you don't eat cilantro, okay? Not everybody likes it. And make sure you ask. You're making it for a lot of people. That's something I've learned. Is not everybody does a cilantro. It's considered like a, a garnish or a topping. We're going to take this here cheesy spatula flip that over. Uh-oh. Stick it. Stick that right over. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. There we go. My, 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 my. For those will be ready in just a minute. Say about two, three minutes. I got it turned all the way up on 400. That's why it's cooking fast like that. But that's good. It's real good. It's going to be real crispy when it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. See how mine looks. Look at the bottom of it. Oh uh, yeah. A little bit more lighter if you like it lighter. That was for about a minute there. Give or take. Alright, so now that we got those turned, I'm just gonna turn this all the way off. I'm gonna put it all the way down on like the warm or right below the warm setting so it stops cooking and just keeps it hot for me. Alright, now let's 
get one of these on a plate. Lord, have mercy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I just, just go right into it with a spatula, man. That's just how you do it. Just chop it just like that, man. This is not the plate that I would serve this on, actually, guys. I'm just using it like a little home cutting board. Woo! That's cheesy. Let's get one of these. Let's see what this is. Let's see if this is buzzing. Alright, guys. This is the, the truth of the moment. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Yes, sir. Try one of these. Take the time, you know. I would say let them cool a little bit before you cut in. But I'm gonna like get these finished. I'm gonna let them cool. Just get a little bit hard. Then we'll cut them all up. Serve them on a platter, man. It's a good little appetizer for a party or just dinner for the kids. Kissy deal night.